Hello and welcome back or welcome to Miss Finance if this is your first time on this channel. Today we're going to have a look at capital gains tax. So what is capital gains tax? This is a tax charged if you sell, give away, exchange or otherwise dispose of an asset and you make a profit or a gain. So it's not the amount of money that you sell the asset for. It's not what you bought it for, it's for the gain. So I'm going to show you how you can work that out for yourself. So this will always be your sales proceeds minus your purchase price less any selling costs less any purchase costs and that will give you your net gain. So there's a few things that determine the, the amount of tax that you pay when you sell an asset. So Firstly, this is your rate of tax. So if you're a basic rate taxpayer or if you're a higher or additional rate taxpayer, and it looks like this. So if you make a profit on the sale of an asset and you are a basic rate taxpayer, you will only pay 10% of capital gains tax. Whereas if you sell a property, you will pay 18% capital gains tax. However, if you're a higher rate or additional rate taxpayer, you'll pay 20% towards a gain on an asset or 28% if it's a property gain. So the second thing that you need to consider is whether the individual in the question is just one person, because if it is just one person, then the capital gains tax allowance for the year is £12,000 in 2019 to 20. If we're looking at 2021, then it's going to be 12300 Whereas if there are multiple people in the question and they are married, then the capital gains tax allowance for 2019 to 20 is £24,000, whereas it's £24,600 in 2020 to 21. So there are some items that are actually free from capital gains tax and the most common examples are private motor cars including vintage cars, gifts to UK registered charities, some government securities, personal belongings where the proceeds of sale are less than £6,000, prize or betting winnings, cash and assets held in ISAs or some pension schemes. So with all that in mind, let's go through an example. So here we have Geralt. So Geralt earns £70,000 a year. So what we know is that the tax free allowance in any in this year is £12,500. Capital gains tax free allowance is £12,000 for an individual. The basic rate tax band is £37,500 and higher rate and additional are above that value. So in this scenario, Geralt sells a house. So we know that he sold the house for £300,000, he bought the house for £100,000, he incurred selling costs of £3,000 and he also incurred other purchase costs of £3,000. So let's work out what his capital gains tax is going to be. So first of all, we need to take Geralt's salary of £70,000 and take off the tax-free allowance of 12,500 which gives us a 57.5k so we know that Geralt is a higher rate taxpayer. Now we know that a higher rate taxpayer pays 20% capital gains tax on assets and 28% on property. So he's selling house so we know he's going to pay 28% so if we take proceeds of 300k less the price that he bought it at at 100k less incidental selling costs of 3k and incidental purchase costs of 3k let's work that out so that gives us 194k net gain. So step two here would be to take his 194k gain less his £12,000 tax-free allowance. That then gives us 
k taxable and we know this is going to be at 28% so he's going to have to pay 50,900 and £60 in capital gains tax. So let's do another example. Okay, so this time round, Sophie earns 30k. Again, we know the tax free allowance is £12,500, the capital gains tax free allowance is £12,000, basic rate band is £37,500, sales proceeds here are £250,000. Purchase price £30,000, selling costs £4,000 and purchase costs of £10,000. So here, Sophie again sells a property. So let's go to step one. So she currently earns 30 k a year, so we're going to take off the tax free allowance of £12,500 a year. And that gives us 17.5 k now this indicates that she's a basic rate taxpayer, however we need to work out what the gain is here because even though she's a basic rate taxpayer, if that gain takes her over the 37500 then unfortunately she's going to have to pay the 28%. So let's work this out. So that gives us 200, so that gives us 206. Now step three, if we take this 206k and we take off the 12k of capital gains tax free allowance, that actually then takes us to 194k. So Sophie has already used 17.5k of the 32.5k available. So this 194k is going to push into the higher rate tax band. So that was quite obvious in this case that that was going to happen, but it's good practice to do these steps to work it out because the examiner will give you something that's ever so slightly on either side, either under or over, just to test your knowledge. So we take the 194k knowing that she's used 17.5k of the 37.5k basic rate it means that what she's actually got left is 20k of the basic rate band so that means that 20k is going to be at 18% and the remaining balance of 174k is going to be at 28% so let's work that out so that is £3,600 and that is £48,720 which gives an overall tax bill of £52,320. So let's leave it there. So I hope you found this video useful today. If you like the video or you found it useful, then hit the like button because it does help with the YouTube algorithm. Otherwise, consider subscribing and I shall see you on the next video.